Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect with me, Kiyogami666, and there's a bunch of people we want to talk to here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can stir up here. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Ah, uh, sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Yeah. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Yeah, right. these places have already went here. Thanks, my dude. Commander. Have a pleasant day. Bug! Nasana, you have a name. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, so not yet. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like a girl back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Hey. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Oh, hey. Is there something I could do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? That I already haven't done with. I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Eh, that's about it. I mean, fair enough. I guess this is just supposed to be the... Uh, point in the general direction of the fun things. And there's Executor Palin. Hi, bud. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No, but who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed? And I see you have Garrus with you, so he should have filled you in with a lot more than what I'm going to tell you. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I'm not going to step foot on that one. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Uh, CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. And an investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Sarah. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Do you have anything that you do? Oh, computer. Uh. Let's try that again. Aha. I like breaking encryptions. I like getting into things that I shouldn't. Uh, 
All right, Mr. Batia, we got your wife back. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah. Solid feel goods. Now we need to head back to Chorus Den real quick because there's a couple of things that we need to talk to. Chorus Den! There's a few guys we want to talk to before uh, any other problems arise. Now, of course, we got all the bad guys out of the way from Korra's Den, so we don't have to worry about this too much. See? Fun stuff. There's Septimus. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But don't waste your time. Uh-uh. Nope. We're gonna straighten you up. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I ever come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that guy. Such a thing. Because I told him to. Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I'd rather just maintain a boat. Hey, Harkin. Go away. Let me, let me drink. Go away. Uh, I guess because we, uh, desynced everything. Are we allowed to come back here? I guess we are allowed to come back here. Uh, because I guess we needed to... ...be able to find the stuff in here, anyway. I wonder who runs the bar now, you know, now that, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to sit down and have a sorry stripper action. Specifically when it does nothing for me. We don't get any buffs, we don't get anything like that. Okay. Is there anything special over here that we can get ourselves into? I 
Oh, so it did count this guy. Okay, that's good. Hey, Emily. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Like this? These might have the information you're looking for. You've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Uh -huh. Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? Maybe. That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. You like your money, couldn't you? Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Heck yeah. I like being able to squeeze out extra money if I can. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a bug over here. Presidium locations. Um... Yeah, let's go over there real quick. Let's deal with our Elcor buddy who uh, we talked to ever so long ago. Get him to not talk about uh, Shaira. That's not the right area. It's over here. Hey, Zoltan. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secret. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Yeah. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I mean, you are right. You are, in fact, correct. I am profiting in some capacity here. But I'll be fair, it was still a good thing. Oh, <laughs> she backtracked really hard. Uh, uh, uh. Now, of course, I could just go all the way over to the consort, easy, easy peasy, but she's also not that far away from here. Plus, bugs! Yeah, 
Hi. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Good, because. It was a long time ago. You're with the Alliance. My please welcome you. It is a pleasure to see you. Ah, uh, I thought I remember one of these girlies talking, being like, "Hey, can you talk to my sister at some point?" But that could just be me. Sorry, had to come talk to you immediately. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Oh. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Chiyura. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Now, what's the trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Sweet. Take a seat if you like. It may be as well. All right. Um. I want to check out one place if I can. Because they kept mentioning it, and it's the place called Flux. I'm very curious about Flux. I know I've said I played this in the past, but it's also been like years since I played it, so. Sometimes a quick refresher would not hurt in this case. Words. Can I even go to Flux? I cannot go to Flux from here. Um, I wonder if there's a way for me to get the Flux from... Let's go to Markets. Yeah, because there's core is done. And those are the back markets. Yeah, somewhere around here is Flux. I've been to Flux before at one point in time or another.
Ah, oh, there's Flux. Just gotta find the one random arrow that will tell me, hey, go here, dummy. And if you go there once, you can always fast travel to it. Discussing with the Volvas. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, oh. stopping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. But I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, all right. Well, get back to work before I get in trouble. Ooh, gambling. Oh, well, there's a bug here, so let me talk to the bug first. Suspicious gambling machine. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credit to their way. I'll run this race. Uh let's play one round of Quasar. Um Four and seven. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I think what I have to. Make sure I hit like somewhere between that and twenty one. Ooh, eighteen. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Doran real quick. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've All got right. some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well... Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I could take her in a second. The customers loved her. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. All right. So now we can take a fast travel all the way back to Cora's Den. And talk to Jenna. I know, I am basically killing a whole lot of time here. But I mean... it It's good to get as much as, you know... You can. Like, experience-wise, money-wise out of these situations here um because it all builds up like uh later on hi jenna hi, I'll be with you oh is there something wrong with your hair 
I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Ah, Chalik. Okay. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Yep, gotta go to CSEC Academy. There's some crazy stuff happening. There's some crazy stuff happening in the Citadel. Uh, towards CSEC. Uh, yeah, that's the requisition officer. Oh, that's an elevator. We don't want to go to the elevators. Elevators are for chumps. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the exclamation point. Oh, uh, there might be secrets here. Okay, Zia. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorm, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Yeah, what do you get? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Oh? Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the market. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wait. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? Yeah. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulation. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hello, Commander. Yeah, this is the guy we wanted to talk to originally. Come into my office. I want to discuss it. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Jenna. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. 
Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. I mean, fair enough. Always thinking ahead, detective. As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? What do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down a legal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Oh yeah, what makes him illegal though? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Okay, fair enough. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Let's deal with some lower market stuff. Markets. A lot of fun things that happen out here. Uh, there's Jax. Let's talk to him first. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. Yeah. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Yeah, we didn't want to do the dumb thing. Now, Chorbin, on the other hand. Hi, Chorby. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Ah, uh, yeah, so they were with him. It's like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine... A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings, but he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. You were stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Yeah. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Yeah, Jaleed was not good about trying to, uh... not tell us as much information.
it's always good to talk and try to get both sides of the uh, the story here. You gotta be honest, especially with Commander Shepard and his two friends, because there's a lot of guns and abilities between the both of them. So let's start with Jaleed first, because Jaleed needs to chill the F out, dude. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Yeah, you better. Alright, boss. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. There we go. Doing right in the neighborhood. Alright, I think that essentially covers everything Ward's Access Corridor. Uh, yeah. well, the Keepers, there's 13 or 20, but there, that's a lot of people. Uh, Codex. Combat. Oh. And then equipment. Um. All right. Well, if anything, this would be a good place to. Actually, we still have one person that we should talk to. In general, I forgot. There's a person who. Oh, what the hell? That could kill someone if you do that wrong. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. That sounds like cheating. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe, but this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. 
I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Oh, he's still gonna be there. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Uh. Well, I guess we should help out this loser, this cheaty ass loser. All it takes is like a couple wins. All right, but we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave the video a like, leave it a comment, and subscribe. That way you can keep up to date with any more uh, Mass Effect stuff. All right, bye.